No, it's uh, in training. He's not too friendly. Oh. 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 Sit. So I just want to go over what I just experienced, which is I have already made this collar tighter for the dog. I've already adjusted it. I've already set myself up for success. And I just went all the way up to 18 TCM. I'm across the street. The dog wants to say hello to other dogs, literally staring at dogs over there, staring at dogs over here. And the dog is so interested that either the dog's excitement and interest level is much higher than what this can get to, or this isn't working as good as it should. But at the end of the day, the goal is to get the dog's attention. If this isn't working, you gotta do something. That's why I just gave a little pull on the leash and I got the dog back here. Good job, Goldie. I mean, buddy. I'm training so many Goldens, I don't even know what this Golden's name is. It's either Golden or Buddy or Happy. It's always something cute and adorable. Goldie? Buddy? It's Buddy! So another thing to point out is this dog was so interested in those dogs that I just had to go from 1 to 18 TVM and then 1 to 18 TCM. So now that I'm at 18 TCM, should I press the button again and see if it's working or should I go back down and follow the system and find the dog's working base level based off of what's going on right now? So for me, I'm gonna go back down to TVM. I'm gonna go probably to about a five. So come, button, 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 button. Come. 13 TVM. Good job, thank you. Oh, buddy. Buddy. Oh. You are such a good boy. Oh, you're such a good boy. You ready to go to the park? Yeah, you are. Come on, let's go to the park. Sit. Heel. Hey, heel. Turn. Come on, buddy boy. Stop. Deal. 
Heel. Off. Off. Good. Heel. 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 Sit. Good job. Down. No, buddy. No. training Redlin and Lucy. It's been three weeks working with these clients, working with these dogs, really making sure that they are to the epic standards that we expect them to be at. Let's go see if they can prevent their dogs from barking when I ring the doorbell. Let's see how fast it's going to take them to get the dogs under control. Let's see what else they can do today. We're gonna do some obedience tests. We're gonna show them where the videos are on the YouTube and Facebook. We're gonna show them how to find the times for our group class and pack walks on Saturdays and Sundays. And we're gonna make sure they're ready to start their relationship off with themselves, 100% confident and under control to keep these dogs in line. Here we are. I almost did find, there we go. All right, so what are you doing with no e-collar in your hand Throwing your hands up in the air. Yes, it is the daddy. You. What's in your hand? Where's the e-collar? Your dad has both of the collars, both remotes. Yes. You got them both. Yes. You have two remotes? No. One. No. One remote's there. <laughs> the point I'm trying to get out is I just came to the door. The dogs barked. And I got you on camera going, oh, what is that going to do to help the dog stop barking? All right, I'm going to uh, see if I can come again and see if they're going to uh, bark and then we'll go for a walk. Yeah, all right, let's see. He's having issues with his um, thing. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not exactly fine here. Grab the leash, put it on. Yep, put them on place. Yeah. We've seen them sleep together. They like to cuddle, lean each other to bed. That's what it should be. Good job. You looking at me, Red? I love you, Red. Let's go for a quick walk so I can see what you guys are doing. Come on, you guys. Red, we're going to go for a walk. You're going to have to walk on me, Lucy. I'm sorry. Red Lad! Lucy! Red Lad! Happy? You happy? Let's go! Come on! Come 
open up. I would just stand here for a second, press the button three times, keep the dog under control. She bites. She's a biter. <laughs> and look, nobody cares. The dog's wagging. Dog's wagging. They're excited. They're like, hey, cool, a person. And then they go back to you. That was good. Right? She has two. Oh, cool. Have a good weekend. And just like that, the dogs had a positive experience. You guys had a positive experience. She had a positive experience. Everybody did good, right? Yeah. It's a happy Friday. That's how it should be. This dog is so sweet. On your right. Good job. Nicely done. Now we're walking through the school area. All these kids are focused on finding their cars, finding their parents, and your dogs are calm and under control. Good. All right, people can get past, you can keep the dog, we're all good. So you got another bike. You got lots of kids, lots of stuff going on. Uh-oh. Good job. There must be something going on at school today because there are a lot of cops driving past here. Lucy, you're doing great. Redlin, you got a smile on your face all the time now. Probably Tuesday. All righty. Have okay. yourself a wonderful weekend. Same all right. Thank you I'll so you much for your time. Give your dog lots of love. Anytime they're on place, obviously you know that you can love them. Redlin, you run this house. You know that, right? <laughs> Just do a good job and take it easy. Take a day off every now and then. Yeah, this I has know. really worked for this whole time. Later, Lucy. I know you're sleeping. Yeah. See you, Red. Bye-bye. He's always good. Really? He goes, I don't want you to leave. That's Is that right. how you feel? Oh my god. Look at you. You love me. He goes, don't leave me. Look, mom, you can't leave. She goes, I feel safe when he's here. When I leave, I have to, I have to be on duty. It's like Dylan's on duty or I'm on duty, but I just, I just want to relax. So if he could hang out a little bit longer, I could sleep maybe, mom. So let's do this. Break. Place. Place. Down. Put the dog on place. Put the dog relax versus being on the protection chair. And then now put the dog back on place. If it gets off, then guess what? No barking. Have a good one. Gotta love place. What a great session. smiles. Hello. I'm glad you're excited to see me. Yeah? Are you on place? Yeah. Oh, oh. Are you making noises? Oh, oh. Oh, I know. I'm here. I'm at your house. So you guys did really great at the, uh, the dog beach this week. What, I guess, questions at this point do you guys have about using the e-collar? And what do you guys want to work on today? I mean, ultimately, your dog does. Sit, down, come, play, seal, every command. You guys are a little bit more our one all in clients, whether you went all, all in or not. It doesn't really matter. That's kind of what you guys yeah. expect out of your dog. Is there anything that you guys are like, man, I really love to learn this. I really love to do this. Is there something that you guys I would like really to do? I really want to teach her to swim, but she's like, all she does is like go in the, like, the little ledge. Okay. And she won't, like, she'll have a ball in the pool and she'll sit there for hours trying to get the ball. And like she won't actually go swimming in the pool. There you go. Yeah, so when you throw the dog in, it puts them into an immediate fight or flight. So then they will immediately have this negative experience. So it's really good to use the dog's momentum like this to get the dog in. 
and you can see the dog's kind of curious all day long. It just needs to be shown the way. All right. Same thing as direction, right? This is just a distraction. Yeah. Fight or flight, I don't want to do it. So I'm just kind of going to get the dog comfortable with heat collar. You are such a sweetheart. Gotta go through her whole motion of fuck that. Say hi to dad, you gotta climb up and see him. Come on, Goldie! Come on! Good job! Way to go! Place. Good, good. That way she doesn't run around and do this whole thing. What'll happen is they get out and they're like, oh, oh, I was, wow, I'm in this moment. Just get him out of it immediately, tell him to sit, and go, all right, cool, that was great. We're gonna run through it a few times. This dog's gonna jump in, no problem. But how do I get out of here, guys? Goldie! Oh, Goldie good job. Good job. Oh, good girl. Okay. Good good girl. Girl. So she also, a little bit overweight, definitely oh, a little bit yes. tired uh -huh. from, you know, swim. Yeah. She goes, all right. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. That was a lot. You know, yeah. she's wearing, like, two wetsuits. <laughs> so we can give her a break for a second. Let her just be. Yeah. Goldie. Yeah, you can jump in. Did you know that? Did you know that? Oh, <gasps> is that the ball? So here's the fun part about the e-collar. You have to hold this leash like this, and you have to wait, and slowly reel it in, waiting for your dog to take a step forward, take another step, and eventually work through the mental psyche of, I don't wanna go, okay, I'm gonna commit and jump. The e-collar allows us to create that forward momentum and go, all right, you know what, I'm gonna jump a lot faster. And you can also have more of that control, obviously, with this distance. So, Goldie, come. Goldie, come. Come! Yay! So then here's the other thing that you guys can do. It's called fishing. I got me a dog, and look what we're doing now. The dog's treading water and swimming, and you're gonna hold the leash and keep the dog in. Now, it's some dogs, though, that need a good workout, or, for instance, your dog. If you wanna get it to lose 10 pounds, do just this, and then once it jumps in, hold the leash, let the dog tread water in the middle for a little bit and just kind of figure it out. And that way we're also preventing the dog from going, I get in, I get out. Yeah. I get in, I get out. We want the dog to get in go, well, you know what? I'm gonna tread water and eventually I'm gonna go, well, I'm gonna swim around and enjoy this. So we want the dog to also yeah. eventually make that decision of, I could yeah. hang in here a while, yeah. right? So we wanna stop that pattern of going towards the exit every time it gets in. Uh -huh. It's great for a uh, puppy not drowning, Right. But your yeah. dog isn't going to drown. It's not a puppy anymore. Yeah. So now we want it to enjoy the pool. Good job, Goldie. You're so cute. All right, so that wraps Goldie. It's been three weeks of training. First week, took the dog every day, trained it. 
did incredible things, set up the foundation. Second week, we did some in-home training, worked on place, worked on the doorbell, guests coming over, basics starting the walk, things like this. Week three, we met at the Huntington Dog Beach every single day, and today to end it, we did some pool training to make sure that the dog would swim and jump into the pool and have a better understanding of what the pool is and how much fun it can actually have uh, in the pool. So it was an amazing three week uh, program with these guys. Unbelievable, lots of fun training this dog. We'll see them at group class and pack walks this weekend.